Dairy Cattle Stockmanship is brought to you by the National Dairy Farm Program and National Beef Quality Assurance Program in partnership with the U.S. Dairy Education and Training Consortium. The skillful, safe, effective, and efficient handling of cows based on understanding cattle's natural behavior is referred to as stockmanship. When dealing with cattle, there are several traits handlers should possess. A handler must like working with animals and be willing to learn. A handler must be a good observer and always remain calm. The handler should recognize that fear is a powerful emotion experienced by animals, which can trigger the fight or flight instinct. Cows have good memories and remember both good and bad experiences. They learn quickly and soon recognize people that treat them well. Understanding what triggers fear in cattle and preventing that fear prevents injuries to the cattle and their handlers. Select which of the following important traits cow handlers must possess. A handler must like working with animals. A handler must be a patient person and always remain calm. A handler must be a good observer of animal behavior. All of these above traits are very important for an animal handler. What is natural behavior in cattle? Cattle are animals that demonstrate a herding behavior. As animals of prey, they try to avoid predators and look for strength in the group. They behave in a way that protects the individuals in the herd. There is always an established hierarchy in the herd, with more dominant animals leading and less dominant animals following the leaders. Therefore, the sight of a cow in front keeps animals moving forward. This is an important concept to remember when moving animals in a chute, into the barn, parlor, or loading them onto a truck. Cattle prefer to be moved in groups. They don't like to be singled out and like to keep other cattle in sight. Because of the herding instinct, cows pushed in a certain direction tend to want to go back to the place they just came from. Understanding this trait is critical when trying to separate a few animals from a larger group. Notice how the handler moves a group to a new place, then separates individuals within sight of their herd mates and lets the animals return without pressuring them. Cows normally move at a slower pace than humans. When pressured or rushed, they are easily startled and may flee due to the flight instinct. This is why animal handlers should never be in a hurry to accomplish their tasks. Cows don't like to be rushed. Experienced handlers make use of these specific herding instincts in order to get animals to do what they want in a way that reflects the animal's natural behavior. Remember, the herd instinct influences how cattle behave. The sight of a cow in front keeps cattle moving forward. Cows prefer to be moved in groups, not singled out. Cows normally move at a slower pace than humans. Cows do not like to be rushed. Which answer is incorrect about cows herding or natural behavior? Cows will group together in a bunch when threatened or pressured. Cows will more easily follow an animal moving in front. Cows are more easily handled when singled out and by themselves. Cows are more easily handled in sight of each other. Cows are more easily handled when they are calm and without fear. How 
do cows perceive the world? Cows use all of their senses to perceive their surroundings, but their sensory perception is different from a human's. Understanding sensory perception in cows is key to understanding why cows behave the way they do. Sight. With eyes located on each side of their head, cattle have panoramic vision, which allows them to see everything except what is directly behind them and right in front of their nose. Panoramic vision is great for detecting predators coming from many different directions. Cattle's panoramic vision is much wider than that of humans, which makes it so that cows can be easily distracted by movement far off to the side. Taking in and analyzing all that sensory information takes time. That means cattle take more time to process what they see than we do. Cows' downward vision towards the ground is limited. The clarity, focus, and contrast of their eyesight is much less developed than that of humans, which means the cows have a hard time deciphering if a shadow on the ground is actually a shadow or a hole they're about to step into. This is why cows may hesitate when walking downhill or balk at a shadow or hesitate before entering a facility. Limited vision and problems focusing quickly can cause cows to resist movement or to react with fear. Hearing. Cattle can hear lower and higher frequencies than humans do. Their hearing is very acute and sensitive, and sounds that might not bother a human can have a strong effect on them. Sudden loud noises such as a whistle or rattling of a chain can cause cattle to become nervous or fearful. Cows' ears work like little antennas. Quieta, vaca, quieta. When pointed at us, we know we have their attention. Vamos, vamos. So a simple word to a cow is enough to get their attention and to let them know where we are. Muy bien, muy bien. Because of their sensitive hearing, it is unnecessary and counterproductive to yell or scream, whistle loud, or to bang on fences or other objects to move cattle. Smell and taste. Cows have an acute sense of smell, and part of the picture they receive through their senses is what they taste and smell. They can receive these smells from a long distance. Pheromones, or scents, released during a fearful or stressful period can alert other animals in the area of a frightful event. Subsequently, animals may get nervous or refuse to enter the facility. For cattle, smells are a key form of communication. Touch. When we think about touch as a sense, we typically think about this as the physical contact between animals or animals and humans. When animals are used to being handled, a gentle touch can help to calm a cow and help her to respond to you in a positive manner. Remember, knowing how a cow perceives the world will help you to understand her behavior. Cattle have panoramic horizontal vision with blind spots directly behind and right in front of the nose. Cow's downward vision towards the ground is limited. The clarity, focus, and contrast of their eyesight is much less developed than ours. This may cause them to balk at shadows or to hesitate as they process visual information. Cow's hearing is very sensitive, and sounds that might not bother a human can cause them to become nervous or fearful. It is unnecessary and counterproductive to yell or scream, whistle, or make loud noises to move cattle. Pheromones released from fearful or stressed animals can affect others in the area. Using the senses in handling cattle. 
caution not to startle an animal when approaching. Handlers should move slowly, avoiding sudden movements and loud noises. Quieta, nena, quieta. Always let the cow know you are approaching, especially if they cannot see you well. Start talking to them in a calm way, letting them know you are there. When she is listening, the cow will turn her ear to you. That is a clear sign that she knows you are there. Quieta, vaca. Quieta, quieta. When you handle a cow up close, for example, to check her udder, the safest way is to actually get really close and lean into her from the side. As you lean into her, the cow will naturally lean back into you, putting most of her weight on the legs you are pushing against. She will not be able to kick you with those legs because she is putting the majority of her weight on them. Remember, when approaching a cow, start talking to them in a calm way, letting them know you are there. When she is listening, the cow will turn her ear to you. A gentle touch can help to calm a cow and help her to respond to you in a positive manner. When checking a cow up close, lean into her and she will lean back into you. Shifting her weight towards you will prevent kicking with the legs on that side. In which ways do cows perceive their world? Cows can see all around them, except for a blind spot right behind them. Cows don't see very clearly and may have trouble seeing shadows on the ground. When a cow points her ears towards you, you know you have her attention. Smells to cows are part of the picture they receive from their environment. Cows have excellent hearing and do not need to be spoken to in loud voices. All of the above are ways cows perceive their world. Best Practices in Handling Cows Under best practice, cattle are handled in a calm, controlled, and gentle manner. Handlers should use the principles of the flight zone and point of balance to safely move animals to a desired location without stressing the animals or provoking a flight response. New employees should be trained on these concepts by experienced handlers until they demonstrate the skills needed. In addition, all animal caretakers must have signed a dairy cattle care and ethics agreement as an indication of their commitment to proper and humane care of the animals on the dairy. What is the flight zone? The flight zone is the animal's safety zone. It is an imaginary zone or space around the animal. The flight zone can vary in size depending on the animal's degree of comfort being around humans. If an animal is not used to humans, the flight zone will be large. If the animal is used to being handled and associates human handling with positive experiences, the flight zone will be small and become smaller over time. Animals have their individual flight zones, but as a herd, the group also has a flight zone. Agitated animals have larger flight zones than calm ones. Remember, the flight zone is the cow's safety or comfort zone. The size of the flight zone can vary depending on the animal. Agitated animals have larger flight zones than calm ones. Herds also have flight zones. Using the flight zone. When a handler enters the flight zone, the animal will tend to move away. And when the handler moves out of the flight zone, 
the animal will come to a halt again. When the flight zone is entered slowly and without sudden movements, the animal will slowly respond by moving away until the flight zone is vacated or restored again. When the flight zone is entered forcefully and fast, the animal will run or flee. Knowing and understanding where an animal's flight zone begins and moving in and out of it is key to moving animals effectively and in a desired direction. Remember, use the flight zone to move cows. When the flight zone is entered, the cow will move away. When the flight zone is exited, the cow will stop. Move in and out of the flight zone to move and steer cows. Using pressure to control speed. Notice how when the handler applies more pressure on the flight zone, the animal increases their speed, and by decreasing the pressure on the flight zone, the animal slows down. Slight pressure on the flight zone in the right direction is enough to move an animal or group of animals in the desired direction. If a person enters the animal's flight zone from the front, the animal tends to want to turn around and move away to restore the flight zone. What is the flight zone? The flight zone is an imaginary space around an animal in which it feels safe. The flight zone is how long it takes the cow to move to the parlor. The flight zone is the distance an animal will run when you move away from her. The flight zone is an area that becomes smaller if the animal is stressed. Point of balance. The point of balance is an imaginary point or line on an animal's body somewhere around the animal's shoulders. This is a pivotal point. Notice when the handler goes just past the point of balance, the cow moves forward. When he moves in front of the point of balance, the cow stops. Working the point of balance in this way allows the handler to control the speed and direction of the cow's movement. Remember, the point of balance is an imaginary point or line near the animal's shoulders. When a handler moves behind the point of balance, the cow will move forward. Working the point of balance in a start and stop way allows the handler to control speed and direction. Using pressure and release. By moving deeper into the flight zone, a handler exerts more pressure to the animal's need to respond and restore the flight zone. This pressure can cause an animal to react faster and to speed up. Pressure is your friend when moving animals. It is an act of persuasion. Pressure must also be released so that animals learn that pressure and release go hand in hand. It is most effective to continuously work around the edge of the flight zone, entering and leaving, pressuring and releasing, such that consistently clear signals are being sent to the animals. Use the least amount of pressure necessary to keep animals calm and safely moving. Too much pressure can cause an animal to panic. This can cause injuries to either the animal or the handler. Remember, entering and leaving the flight zone is pressure and release. It is most effective to continuously work the edge of the flight zone, entering and leaving. Use the least amount of pressure necessary to keep animals calm and safely moving. Using tools to move animals. 
A handler can use a paddle, a sorting stick, a flag, or a streamer as a movement aid to extend the length of one's arm across an alley. This can encourage or discourage cows from moving in a certain direction. These tools are not to be used as items to hit, prod, or otherwise touch the animals. They are merely an extension of a person's reach. Electric prods are not to be used for the routine handling of animals. Forceful use of the tail to move or restrain the cow can result in injury. This is considered abuse and is unacceptable. Handling cattle in alleys, holding areas, and milking parlor. Handlers should be comfortable applying natural herding instincts, such as flight zone and point of balance, to move cows out of their pens and into alleyways. Remember that cows prefer to move at a slower pace, and therefore, moving cows around the facility should be done at a slow walk. When moving a group, a handler first needs to circle the backside of the herd to get the attention of most animals. Once these animals feel pressure, they will start making their way into a closer formation of the herd. At that point, using a zigzag pattern, the handler can start increasing the pressure from behind the cows to get them moving into a bunch and in the desired direction. With the zigzag pattern, the handler is moving in and out of the blind spots behind the cows. This is a way to slowly increase the pressure on the group. Cows will ultimately move into lines and follow each other. Gentle, low-stress handling will result in minimum injuries for both animals and handlers and will ultimately result in maximum productivity. When a single handler needs to separate an animal, the easiest and safest way is to move a small group to the new area and let the selected animal circle back or pass by while the others are held. All of these are considered best practice when moving animals, except the art of working the flight zone of the animal or group of animals, making your presence known and making loud noises to get animals to move, using a zigzag pattern whereby the handler is moving in and out of the blind spot of the cows. Understanding herding animals do not like to be separated from the group. Utilizing the concept that cows like to go back to an area they just came from. A crowd gate in the holding pen can be seen as something encroaching into an animal's flight zone and the animal is going to want to respond to it by moving away. When used properly, the crowd gate gently encourages forward motion of the cows in the holding area. In order for this to work, the holding pen should not be overcrowded. Signs of overcrowding in the holding pen include cows turning sideways, cattle holding up heads, cattle hunching backs, and cattle near the gate turning to face the crowd gate. If cows are hesitant or refuse to come into the parlor by themselves, it is a clear sign that there are other issues at play which will need the immediate attention of management. Remember, move cows at a slow walk. Cows are herding animals and like to be in a group. Cows don't like to be singled out. Cows like to follow an animal in front of them. Cows like to circle back around to an area they just came from. Calm, slow, low stress handling is best. Do not overcrowd the holding pin. In the milking parlor. The parlor should be a quiet, 
tranquil, stress-free environment for both cows and milkers. Milking is typically a pleasant experience for cows, and they should enter and leave the parlor without any vocal or physical prompting. Cows know they are going to be milked and understand the routine. Whistles, yells, and loud noises in the parlor are counterproductive to good cow flow and are discouraged. Remember, the milking parlor should be a quiet, tranquil, stress-free environment. Cows should enter and leave the parlor with minimal or no vocal or physical prompting. Whistles, yells, and loud noises are counterproductive. Which of the following are important for the proper movement of cattle into the milking parlor? A crowd gate gently encourages forward motion of the cows into the holding area. Avoid whistles, yells, and loud noises as they are counterproductive to the milking process. A milker walking in opposite direction of the cow flow encourages cows to enter and move forward in the parlor. Cows do not like to be milked and therefore need to be forced into the parlor using a crowd gate. A, B, and C are correct.